tonight, we're celebrating the political courage of five representatives who put the national interest above their own political interests to do what was right. The, sen the sister senators here tonight did not do what was easy. They did what was really hard, but they did it for the people of their state. Senators Sen, Sheely, Matthews, Gustafson, and McLeod represent the only women in the South Carolina State Senate. They're from different political parties. They have different views on the issues of abortion. Some are pro-life, others are pro-choice. I'm gonna get the facts here probably a little bit wrong, but I have two sisters, so I know that the sister senators will have no trouble correcting me <laughs> for the mistakes that I make. But the story of what they did really deserves to be explained and highlighted. Um, after the, Supreme, the US Supreme Court uh, struck down or overturned Roe v. Wade with the Dobbs decision, it opened the door for states around the country to pass restrictive um, reproductive rights legislation. And South Carolina uh, rushed in and um, proposed a bill that sought to uh, eliminate abortion after six weeks with few to no exceptions. And the sister senators here tonight, as I said, they're the only women um, in the South Carolina uh, State Senate. Uh, they're from different political parties. Some of them have voted for uh, bills in, in the past that included the same measures that the, um, the legislation in question uh, proposed to do this time. But the way that it was being done, they did not feel was right. They did not feel that um, it was just, it was not fair to the people of their state, to the 51% of their state, the women that, that they represent. So they came together. Um, and they came together to filibuster the bill the first time around, uh, and they, they succeeded in blocking it. And a few months later, again, you'll correct me if I'm wrong, but a few months later, the issue was taken up by the state Supreme Court. And the state Supreme Court, uh, in an opinion written by the only female justice on that court, um, voted that the law was unconstitutional, that they had uh, tried to stop. But then the South, which is great. But then a few months passed, and the state legislature tried to do it again. Uh, and this time, again, even though they had faced intense political pressures um, and personal attacks, the sister senators came together once again, and they stuck together uh, to try to block the bill from being passed. Uh, but they were defeated when one male senator changed his vote, and the bill passed 22 to 21. And in the months that had passed since the court initially took up, of the issue, that fem the only female justice on the Supreme Court retired and was replaced with a male. And then the court retook up the issue again and ruled that the uh, legislation was constitutional and they upheld it. So I think that that shows not that they were ineffective, but that they, what they were up against. Um, and it really shows what it took for them to stick their necks out on this issue at a time when it didn't come with any, um, they didn't get much out of it. It was not a politically convenient thing for them to do, but they did, they did it because it was right. Um, and to me, that is an inspiring story that shows that political courage is not something out of the 1960s. Uh, it's alive today. It's not outdated. Um, so I'm inspired by their example, and I'm grateful for their example. I'm so happy that they and their families are here tonight. And so I want to invite them now on stage to correct me for the mistakes I made and to receive the Profile and Courage Award. So thank you.